Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to make my little tiny bumblebee. It's a fun little project which just uses a tiny amount of beads. You'll need 12 yellow beads, number 11, 6 jet black, 2 jet black 15s, 1 4mm bicone, 1 6mm round and about half a gram of clear or white delica beads. So to start off I am going to pick up one yellow, one black, two yellow, one black and another yellow. Then I'm going to use this circular fire line join because I don't want a tail thread. If you're using the fire line join do remember not to put the thread inside the flame. Just bring the thread to the flame. So we want two stacks of yellow, black, yellow. Then we're going to pick up yellow, black and yellow again and we're going to come back through these three beads from the opposite side. And then back through the three beads that we've just added which is in effect a square stitch. And I'm going to repeat this again. And then we're going to pick up the last yellow and black number 11s. And now you need to just weave through all of the stacks just to strengthen. Now we need to join the two ends together. So this is basically a square stitch. And then come back through these three again to secure that join. And then pass your needle through the center without catching any of the beads. 
just through the center. This just puts your thread in the right place. Then pick up the six mil and one of the number 15s. And pull this, these two beads all the way down. Then you're going to miss out the number 15, go back through the six and then straight through the middle again. And then we're going to pick up the four mil bicone and the last number 15 and slap. So omit the number 15 again and you're going to come back through the bicone through the center of the six and through the six mil round. Then we're going to come back through the number 15 and then back through the six mil, the center and the bicone. And then we're going to pass through the number 15 again. Back through the bicone. And then exit just above one of the yellow beads, but on the inside. And so to secure your thread, you just weave through all of these beads again. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to switch um, from the smoked fire line to the clear fire line in order to do the wings. If you, you can use the smoked, but you will be able to see it and it dulls down the colour. So we want to go through one of the yellow beads that is sitting next to the six mil round. And I'm going to pick up two of the Delica beads. And I'm going to tie another circular fire line join because I don't want a tail. I really do like to avoid tails at all costs. It is worth learning this join. Um, you'll make some mistakes in the beginning, but with practice, it becomes easier and it'll just be part of beading. Now, because I'm moving into brick stitch, I want these two beads to sit side by side. In order to get the beads to sit side by side, you simply have to create a square stitch around these two delicate beads. Sorry for any confusion, but I have actually turned the bee around at this point.
So for the first row, we're going to pick up two beads. So this is an increase row. So we pass through the loop of thread between the two beads. Back up through the bead on the right. Pick up one and then we're going to hook behind this thread. And come back up through the bead we just added. Oh, sorry for the camera bobble. Next row is again an increase row. So we go through the first loop. Back up through the bead on the right. Pick up one bead, come through the next loop. Pass back up the bead you just added. Pick up another bead and hook through the thread. And back up through the bead you just added. So we've now got four beads. And this row is an increase as well. So again, we're going to go through the first loop. And then we're going to pick up one and come through the next loop. Pick up one and through the next loop. And then for the last row in this uh, bead in this row, I'm going to hook through again. Now the next few rows are decreases, so they're done slightly differently. Still start with pick up two beads, but this time you're going to go through the second loop. And pass up through one. Pick up one. Come through the next loop. pick up one and come through the last loop. Now, because it's a decrease, we don't need to hook a bead in at this end. We just turn our work over and we're going to decrease again. So we've now got four beads and we're going to decrease to three. Pick up two, come through the second loop Pick up one, come through the last loop. Now I'd just like to point out that some of these beads are sitting a little bit uh, irregular. Uh, ordinarily I would have done a square stitch between these two, but in this particular instance, this pattern, it really doesn't matter and you'll see why in a minute. 
So we pick up two beads. Come under that loop. And then I'm going to pass down through all of these beads on this side. Back through the yellow bead. And then I'm going to uh, just stitch through all of the edge beads now. And what you should find is it gathers up slightly. And I think it gives a nice shape to the wings. And then back through the yellow bead. So all we have to do now is repeat all of these rows. So I'll just add in the first beginning to and then I'll stop the video and whiz through. Because you can just rewind if you're not sure if you're stuck somewhere we just rewind the video and, and repeat so again i'm just going to do the square stitch around these first two So you just need to repeat all the rest of the rows on this side. So I've completed all the rest of the rows and I'm just going around the edge. I'm just going to show you how I finish. So I'm just going to hop out at somewhere along the edge and I'm going to do a half hitch knot just to secure the thread. Then I'm going to pass through a few beads and end this thread. And there he is, that's your little bee done. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you enjoy making your little bees. See you again soon.